Welcome to Mouse Brain, the spirited and sprightly Warrior Cats trivia game show where we test your favorite Battle Cat content creator to see just how much random trivia they know about the books. I'm your host, Blixamy, and I'm smiling through the pain. This is our very last regular episode of Mouse Brain before we head into the fierce battle of semifinals. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the Clash of Champions, where past winners fight tooth and claw to find out who will get to be heading into finals. But joining us today, we've got two astonishingly unique and talented artists who both truly push their Warrior Cat game and content to the next level. Our first contestant is quite simply unstoppable. PMVs, AMVs, maps, memes, you name it, she's got it. Alongside the skill and talent poured into each one of their YouTube projects, this creator is tackling one of Warrior's biggest feats, uniquely designing every single cat. Her work will have you dreaming of warriors and sleepwalking to that subscribe button. Please welcome, first to the stand, the outstanding Ursa Day. <laughs> Goofy, charming, and one of a kind, this creator excels in not only making us laugh our legs off, but also in bringing to life some of the hugely iconic and most recognizable Warriors projects I'm positive you've seen in your recommendations. Our second contestant has it all, and she isn't afraid of the ghosts of any questions past. Taking on Ursaday, we have the lovely and lively Northflower. Uh-oh. <laughs> Today's episode has three unique rounds. Multiple choice mayhem, am I lying? And lastly, curious quotes. In each segment, the contestants will fight to earn points by correctly answering questions. Answer with caution though, get too excited and answer incorrectly, and you chance losing some of those precious points. Whoever has the most points by the end of the game will be our champion. Without further ado, let's crash into our first segment, Multiple Choice Mayhem. Each question will have four multiple choice answers provided. The first to buzz in and correctly answer will get the point. However, if the contestants feel like they know the answer before hearing the choices, they can quick buzz for a bonus point. Be careful though, if the contestant gets the answer wrong, not only will they lose a point, but their opponent will be given full opportunity to steal that point if they can answer correctly. 18 questions are lined up on the board. Here we go. Why is Jay Feather suspended from his duties as a medicine cat during Omen of the Stars? The cats of the clan discover Jay Feather's dreamwalking capabilities and feel they can no longer trust him. Jay Feather is blamed for the death of the Shadow Clan medicine cat when he does not save him from drowning in the lake. Misinterpreting a sign leads Jay Feather to give the wrong herbs to Shadow Clan in need. When it is revealed Crow Feather is his father, the clans take away his position while they decide if he is a true member of ThunderClan. Oh, you both buzzed, so it looks like Arden buzzed first. No! Okay. <laughs> Knock in there. Is it because they thought he killed Flametail? That's exactly it! Heck yeah! yeah. yeah. Rick! <laughs> After being scolded by Stormfur for playing with prey when food was scarce, what did Jake hit sniff out in the fresh kill pile that would have made another cat sick had he not found it? A rat from the carrion place that was poisoned and diseased. A sour vole with a mouth full of flies. A rotten wren with a belly full of maggots. A poisoned rabbit from the moors of WindClan. Hey, North. North, hit me up. Tell me what it is. I, I am feeling the rabbit. It is not the rabbit. <laughs> I'm so no. sorry. <laughs> so, no uh, North, my God, I'm a mess artist. So now you have the chance to sneak in. Okay. Is it the wren? It is the wren with a belly full of maggots. Isn't that gross? Delicious. <laughs> Fine dining in ThunderClan. Wow. <laughs> what is the name of the kind kitty pet who kept Leafpaw's spirits up when she was trapped in the two leg cages? Arden, holy cow. I think I know this one. Is it Cody? 
It is! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> How did you remember that? I remember the characters pretty well, but everything else is <laughs> a little more questionable, so we'll see. And there are quite a few questions about who's who, so North, you gotta be fast on that buzzer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Unsure of who could be the fourth prophesized cat before discovering it was Firestar, the three theorize on who it could be. Lion and Dove each suggest Holly and Ivy, but who does Jay Feather offer up as his suggestion? Cloudtail, Tawny Pelt, Mothwing, or Whitewing? Okay, Arden. Is it Tawny Pelt? It is not Tawny Pelt. North, do you think you know there's three left? Do you want to give it a whirl? Do you want me to reduce it to half point? What, what's your feeling? What's your vibe? I don't think I know. I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of an odd one. Okay, so I'm going to take out uh, one of the options and we'll just have two. And this one will be for half a point. He either thinks it's Mothwing or Whitewing. Okay, North. Whitewing. It is not Whitewing. It's our girl Mothwing! No! Could you believe it? Oh my it? god. <laughs> he's a stinker with Mothwing so much. But no, the whole book, he's like, yep, it's Mothwing, guys. It is not Mothwing. Spoiler well, alert. Wait, wh- why does he think that? Because I guess, like, she came up to Moonpool and was like, Star Clan is a stinker. And he's like, oh, maybe because she doesn't have faith, that's like her power and she could be the fourth cat. It'd be kind of iconic if she was. Could you imagine? Oh, you're talking <laughs> right through my ear, dude. I love Mothwing so much. <laughs> Which River Clan cat revealed to Fireheart that Oakheart was killed by falling rocks, not by another cat? Whoa! Oh, both of you that was so close. Okay, Arden, do you do you think you know? I think I might. Is it Misty Foot? It is Misty Foot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. It, it's just I just can't wrap my head around this time zones and how you're knowing all these cats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my butt kicked here. Hey, hey, hey. There are so many opportunities. It, it always starts like this. Here's the thing. You're keeping things spicy. You're keeping it interesting for the viewer. I appreciate it so much. We have to create a sense of drama and conflict. <laughs> What Starkline cat did Storm for meet in a dream that inspired him to return to the tribe to try and defeat Sharptooth? Okay, North, who do you think it is? I think that it would be Silverstream. Heck yeah, dude, it's Silverstream! Yes! I thought it was going to be tricky. I had Feathertail in there, and I'm like, mm, get a little confused, but you didn't even need it. You're <laughs> ten steps ahead of me. Right before Hollyleaf's outburst about her real parents at the gathering, what strange update did One Star give about Wind Clan? They cleared a pile of two leg rubbish that was carelessly left strewn near the rear of their camp. They dragged a dead sheep out of a stream to keep their drinking water clean. They were proud to have had more kids born that season than Shadow Clan and River Clan combined. They chased an escaped horse place full away from their hunting grounds that was causing the rabbits to hide in fear. One star is a crazy guy. <laughs> Who knows what he's going to say next? <laughs> okay, North. Going to take a stab at it. Not if they ring any bells, but I'm going to go for the sheep. It is the sheep. I have zero memory of that. Me either. There were more important things happening at that part of the book. <laughs> a one star. You yeah, nutty fellow. Which cat dies on the mission to fight the beavers that are causing the drought in The Fourth Apprentice? Oh, Arden. Okay, you think you're going to take a risk? You think you know who it is? Yeah, I think I, think I do. Is it Ripletail? Oh, like, stop it. You were so good. Yeah, it is Ripletail. <laughs> <laughs> blowing my mind, honestly. So, there's kind of a infamous little game we play here on the show where I force you to guess uh, real names of the places in the book. Oh, no. The cats call a certain thing something. The human people have a human name for them. So... I need to know, what is the actual two-leg name for the island the cats use for their gatherings? Greenwood Isle, Heron's Point, Victor Tree Island, Little Pine Island. Arden, tell me what that island name is. Uh, is it Little Pine Island? It is Little Pine Island, dude! Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Living on a prayer. With these two-leg ones, that's what you gotta do, because there's just no way... (laughs) Who killed Darkstripe during the darkest hour? Oh, one second ahead, North. So, I I think it was Graystripe. Look, making a comeback. Yes. When tensions were high between ThunderClan and ShadowClan right before the Great Battle, Lion Blaze deliberately crosses the border in front of a ShadowClan patrol, which in turn provoked a scuffle between himself and Ratscar. 
what was his reason for doing so? To cover up Dovewing's scent on ShadowClan's territory with his own after her meetings with Tigerheart. Frustrated by Ratscar's taunts from across the border, Lion Blaze wanted to show that a real warrior says things face to face and not from across the border like a coward. To cause a fight so he could prove that he was not able to be beat in combat. To distract the Shadow Clan patrol, giving Ivy Pool enough time to return to ThunderClan after confronting Tigerheart. Oh, okay, Arden. I don't know. These all sound very believable. Was it to distract the patrol? It is not to distract the patrol. Okay. But that does happen in the book later. North, do you want to give a give a whack at it? Yes. I think I know. I think it was the first one with um Dubwing. It is the first one with yes. Dubwing. He's like, oh, I gotta take care of this here. So he jumps over there. He's a little brat during that book, honestly. Okay, we're coming back to the new prophecy here. So I would like to know. What apprentice told Fireheart that Blackstar was waiting in their territory, but was actually a setup for him to fall into Hawk Frost's trap? An apprentice. Stinky little apprentice. <laughs> okay, Arden. Um, I'm gonna guess Birchpaw? It is! Bar yes. boy Birchpaw! Whew, that was a guess. <laughs> wow. I knew it wasn't Ashpaw. I thought Birchpaw was a good boy, but then I was like, oh, well, he was kind of a dark forest stinker, so maybe he's not that good a boy. <laughs> What item did Fireheart find that had likely fallen off Greystripe that was one of the first major clues to figuring out Greystripe was visiting RiverClan to see Silverstream? A trotted sprig of hedge nettle. A crumbling piece of marsh foxtail. Shriveled duckweed. A dried catkin flower. Hey, Arden. Is it duckweed? It is not duckweed. I bring the A-game when it comes to coming up with <laughs> fake answers. <laughs> Okay, so North, do you want to take a stab at it? No, I have no idea. Arden, I can uh, reduce it to 0.5 points and uh, take one of them out. Absolutely no idea. So okay, this one will just be worth half a point. A dried catkin flower or a trodden sprig of hedge nettle. Oh, okay, Arden. I'll say the flower. It is the flower, oh my dude. God. Heck yeah! Wow. <laughs> I didn't even know what a catkin flower was. I had to Google it. What does it look like? What is that? I guess it's from a willow tree or something. Some type of seed flowery thing. I think that was the only time I've ever seen that word in my life. And probably going for it, the only time I will see it. That's so cute. The gray stripe with a little flower. When questioning her choice to train as a medicine cat, Holly Paw ends up having a surprisingly enlightening conversation with an unexpected cat about her destiny and future in the clan. Who was this unexpected cat? Mistyfoot, Brook where small fish swim, Yellowfang, or Millie? Okay, Arden. Is it Brook? It is Brook! Yes. I didn't even know that Brook was in ThunderClan at this point. <laughs> it's just continually proving I would fail if I was a contestant. Who was the cat that was supposed to be the next leader of Wind Clan instead of One Star? Okay, Arden. Mudclaw? Oh, it is Mudclaw, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was Mudclaw or Mudfoot. <laughs> and that's funny because I have Ashfoot and Deadfoot, so I would have really tripped you up. <laughs> <laughs> to get Cinder Heartpaw stronger for her warrior's assessment after her accident, what exercise does j Paw secretly teach her behind Leafpool's back? Ooh, that was another quick one. North, what's up? Swimming. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swimming in the lake. Arden, is that what you're going to say? Because you buzzed in like half a second after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. In Rising Storm, what ThunderClan Tom was ambushed and killed by Tigerclaw near the Thunderpath? Ooh, Arden. Running Wind? It is running with! Bit of a rough go. He doesn't do a whole lot. Like, that's kind of his whole thing. No yeah. offense to him. That is true. All he does is die. That's kind of sad. There are a lot of characters like that where their most iconic moment is their moment of death. What was the sign Leafpool received that convinced Firestar Brambleclaw was to be the next deputy of ThunderClan? Oh, North. Whoa. What do you think it is? Um, Bramble's protecting the camp. Absolutely, Bramble Brambles. Yes. yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> the buzzers have never been buzzed quite like this before. Let's hurry on to our next segment to see how this fierce competition shakes out. Our next segment is the brand new Am I Lying? Can you sniff out if I'm telling you the truth? 
For this game, the contestants will be given a statement about the Warriors universe. They then have to quickly figure out if it's true or false. Correctly finding a true statement or calling me out on a false statement will each net one point. But contestants will have the opportunity to add an additional point to their scores if they can correct what's wrong in any false statements. You know how this goes by now, as always, those points are in danger if any are answered incorrectly. Twelve potential fibs are ready for action. Here we go! Midnight was a wise, cat-speaking wolverine who helped guide the journeying cats in the new prophecy. Arden, am I lying? That is false. She is a badger. Of course she's a badger! How iconic is Midnight, the wolverine? Honeyfur's spirit appears to help fight along Jayfeather when he and Poppy Frost are attacked at the moon pool. Okay, North. I think it's true. It is true! Okay, I, I get the, the heritage of all the cats really confused. Is Honeyfur is Poppy Frost's sister, I think? Question mark. In Starlight, Jayfeather receives the prophecy, blood will spill blood and the lake will run red, which prophesized Hawk Frost's demise. Okay, Arden, hello. Uh, that's false, because it was Leaf Pool and not Jayfeather. Dang, dude, absolutely, yeah. Jayfeather gets too much credit for everything, so <laughs> of course it was our girl Leaf Pool. <laughs> Big aside, just because I'm wildly curious and I need to put my opinions onto everybody, does this call like Leaf Pool or are we against Leaf Pool? I like, I like Leaf, Leaf Pool. Pool. Oh, my people, my people, <laughs> thank you. Okay, see, I knew we were friends for a reason here and that just solidifies everything. <laughs> Tigerheart was able to merge two clans, Shadow Clan and River Clan, to make Tiger Clan. Arden. That is true? It is not true on that bad boy. <gasps> Could you repeat the question or the statement? Absolutely. Yep. Tigerheart was able to merge oh two clans, God. Shadow Clan and River Clan, to make Tiger yeah. Clan. <laughs> Oh, this is, that's a trick question. Okay. <laughs> that's, you know, I, yeah. don't I don't come here to play nice, boys and girls. So it's, um, it's not Tiger Heart, it's Tiger Star. As in Tiger Claw Star. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. That was tricky. I just heard what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Same, though, when I was reading it, I was thinking Tiger Claw, so... <laughs> Ivy Pool kills Smoke Haze in the Dark Forest to prove herself worthy of being in the front lines during the Great Battle. Whoa, North, that was so fast, I didn't even see that happen. That's false. Absolutely, why is it false? I'm not entirely sure, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> you just knew deep in your bones, you're like, ah, oh, that, she's lying to me, I just know. Yeah, that, that's not right. <laughs> Arden, do you want to give it a whack to see why it's false, or do you want me to clear the buzzers and give a hint? Um, I'll guess. Is it because she, does she kill Ant Pelt? Yeah! Absolutely! Sorry, that was such a weird time. Yes, it's <laughs> because she kills Ampel. I don't even know who Smoke Haze is. I just googled a random cat and I'm like, perfect, that sounds good. <laughs> Swiftpaw and Brightpaw were the first to discover that the mysterious beasts at Sunning Rocks were dogs in a dangerous path. Okay, North, what do you think it is? I think that's false. Okay, yeah, it is false. So you get one for that. Why do you think it's false? Wait, yeah, they were. They are not at Sunning Rocks. Exactly. Do you know where they were though? No. But you know what? That's that's still true. They weren't at Sunning Rocks. It was actually Snake Rocks. Ah, uh, okay. Snake Rocks, Sunning Rocks, same difference, honestly, man. In Fading Echoes, Duffpaw can sense that Leopard Star is gravely ill in River Clan, which leads us to learning of her passing and Misty Star succeeding her as leader. North, another fast one. What is it? Oh, uh, that's true. It is true. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, and then we get Misty Star for 8,500 years <laughs> after. <laughs> Beetle Whisker, a Dark Forest trainee of River Clan, gets nervous before the battle and wants to go home, only to be slaughtered by Broken Star. Oh god, shocking if true, but I don't know. Arden. Kind of a guess, but is it false? It is not false. This is oh. a true one. <laughs> wow. I know. I like, he's so sweet. He just wants to go home. And then Broken Star's like, nah, <laughs> I think not. Tiger Star was killed by Scourge at Four Trees three days before the clan's great battle against Blood Clan. Hey, Arden. What do you think? True. 
It is true. Okay. The true ones, I feel like, are the most tricky because it's like, oh, what could mm-hmm. it be? What could it be? <laughs> well, I started doubting myself again. I'm like, did she say tiger star, tiger heart? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twice. could you imagine if I was that much of a jerk? <laughs> I wasn't sure because of the amount of days. I thought it was suspicious that you would mention the specific amount of days. And I put it in exactly for that reason. You're so smart. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> In an act of rebellion from Star Clan, Blackstar changes his name back to Blackfoot, proving he no longer cared to follow his warrior ancestors. Okay, Arden, what is it? True? It is true, yep! I did not remember that that happened. It is very short-lived, I feel like. I don't even think it takes, like, even half the book before he's like, Oh, psych! Like, <laughs> change my mind. <laughs> when attempting to save Flametail from drowning in the lake after breaking through the ice, Spotted Leaf appears to tell Jay Feather there is no use. This causes Jay Feather to turn back and let Flametail drown. Okay, North, what is it? That's false. It's because it was Rock who told him to give up. Knocked it out of the park. Yes. <laughs> Stinky naked Rock. Last question. Uh, this one's very important. This one's very hard. So listen very carefully because there is a wrong answer and it's very clear. So our last one is, the undisputed best cat is Mothwing. North, you you know the answer. Tell me what it is. It's true. It is true. Everybody gets a point because I just love Mothwing so much. There's points all around. So valid. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. See, you guys are my people. (laughs) Two games down, one to go until we find out who will be crowned champion of our fourth episode of Mouse Brain. Let's take in a peek with Mr. Craigsworth to check out everybody's scores as we head into the final segment. Craig, there's no time for coffee breaks. We gotta know those scores. Never have we had such a close battle before. The contestants are neck and neck and neither are giving one single inch of wiggle room to their competitor. This is gonna be one spicy finish. Our final segment is Curious Quotes. Do you know who said what? The contestants can get up to three points per question in this section. One for knowing who said the quote, and two additional points for knowing who it was said to. Just like in our other games, answer incorrectly and you risk losing points off your score. Hey, quotes are all fired up. Here we go. Yes, oh great one, I shall do as you command. Then when we come back empty pod, you'll admit I was right. Arden, who is it? Okay, I think this is Squirrel Paw to Bramble Claw. All three, absolutely. <laughs> and you don't scare me either. Nothing scares me more than the thought that you're not afraid of what will happen after you've spoken out. Uh, North. Okay. Yeah, I have a guess. So I'm thinking that that's Jay Feather to Ashfur. It is to Ashfur, absolutely. But it ain't our boy Jay Feather. Ah, uh, good guess that it was Ashfur though. Arden, do you want to take a whack at it and think you know, or do you want me to give you a hint? I'll guess. Is it Lion Blaze? It is not Lion Blaze. Ooh. Huh? Okay, North. Who is it? I'm going for the third option here. So is it Holly Leaf? <laughs> it is Holly Leaf. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> third time's a charm. Exactly. It was one of the little scamps. It was just figuring out which one it was. It was Tiger Star's ambition that destroyed him. If he had been willing to wait for power to come to him, he would have been the greatest leader in the forest. Arden, you've buzzed in. Who do you think it is? Does Tiger Star say this? Uh, who would he be speaking to? Bramblepaw? It is not. Kind of very similar vibes, though. I can totally see that, but it, it is neither one of them. North, do you think you know? I mean, I feel like I have an idea of who it could be. I'm gonna guess that it's Blue Star speaking to Fireheart, but I feel like I just have a bias towards Blue Star at this point. Did you say speaking to... No, but no, it is neither one of those cats. So yeah, so there's now the points are clear, there's no losing points, and we're, yeah, we're clear on this one. This is an arc three, it's an elder talking to an apprentice, and they are both from ThunderClan. Okay, Arden, who is it? This is a com- complete guess. Is it Longtail to Lion Paw? Arden, Arden, who are you? Yes, oh my it is both of them. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Like, for a straight guess, like that was wow. That was impressive. <laughs> All three, dang. Your faith is noble, but can Star Clan really know everything? 
They are only the spirits of ordinary cats like you and me, aren't they? Oh, there's another fast one. Arden, what do you think it is? Is this Mothwing? Who would she be speaking to? Jay Feather. It is neither one of those kitty cats. Oh no! <laughs> North, you also buzzed in. Yeah, I think it's Soul. Okay, and who would he be speaking to? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, so maybe <laughs> Leafpool? It is Leafpool, absolutely! Yes! yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was shot in the dark. Soon the land by the lake will seem like home to you. Establish your boundaries and guard them with tooth and claw, because territory is what binds a clan together. Uh, and because it's like so general, I'm going to give you like a little hint. Uh, this cat is talking to two cats, and the two cats that they're talking to are from separate clans. So he's like talking to a blank clan cat and a blank clan cat. And by he, I mean they, because that was an accidental hint. <laughs> okay, North. Okay, okay. Uh, is it, now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, is it Feather Tail to Bramble Claw and Tawny Pelt? You're so on the right track, and you got one of the cats out of the three right, which is Bramble Claw. I'm gonna give you one point for that. So, Bramble Claw is listening alongside another cat, and it oh, is really? not uh, Tawny Pelt or Feathertail. But yeah, you're absolutely on the exact right track. Um, Arden, you've also buzzed in, so do you want mm -hmm. to guess on top of that? Is it Tiger Star talking to Bramble Claw and Hawkfrost? Absolutely, it is Tiger Star no! talking to Bramble <laughs> I didn't think of that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the one time he's like a nice, like, oh yeah, like, do good, boys. <laughs> but also fight and battle for it. <laughs> Wholesome, but with a little bit of spice. Yeah, that one That one is a tough one. I feel like it's a little bit out of character for Tiger Star. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I kept trying to think of Star Clan cats. Yeah, same! You clan cats hold memories too long. You remember dead warriors and dwell on old enemies, passing on stories of battles that should have been left behind, not picked over like rotting carcasses. You keep them alive in your memories and let them find kindred spirits at the edges of Star Clan where no star dare shine. Okay, Arden. Is it Soul? Uh, and who would he be speaking to? Oh my god, I have no idea. Jay Feather? So I will give you a point for Jay Feather because uh, <laughs> okay. the person talking is talking to like Lion, Dubwing, and Jay Feather, so that's like all in one. So, so yeah, uh, but it is not Soul, so you get one bopped off of that. North, do you think you know? Do you want me to clear the buzzers? Give a hint. Mm hmm. Hmm, hmm. Is it rock? Absolutely, it's rock. <laughs> I, I would have guessed Stone Teller earlier, but I chickened out, so good thing I didn't. You don't get it, do you? Star Clan must have planned this. Look, Blank wants to see me, even after what happened. We share the same thoughts. It's as if we were born into the same clan. And I took the blank, just I took it out because it would have totally given the quote away. So don't worry about who the blank is. Arden, who do you think it is? Oh, is it Ivy Paw? Uh, speaking to... Dove Paw? It is neither one of those kitty oh, cats. Oh no! <laughs> uh, Nora, do you want to take a shot at it? I have a guess, but I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not really sure about this one. But I, um, is it Grey Stripe talking to Fireheart? Dude, you know it's great that I'm talking about my heart. Yes. Absolutely. Talking about our sweet baby girl Silverstream. <laughs> yes. But I was also thinking, I'm like, that could be literally any like cross clan relationship. Yeah, I don't know why at first I was thinking that it would be like siblings in different clans. They kind of do talk to each other with that sibling vibe, so I totally like get where that would come from. Are you listening to me? Or are you too busy worrying about whether your blood smells of forest or moorland? Okay, I I think that it's Holy Leaf talking to Lion Blaze. It is neither one of those cats for no! this one. So Arden, so now do you want to give it a whirl? Mm, you would like a hint, please. It is in the fourth arc, right yeah. near when the battle is about to start. I think it's in like this the the last book, I'm almost sure. Don't quote that on me, even though it's quotes, and even though that's supposed to be my job. It's in the fourth arc, right before the battle. I'm just gonna guess, is it Yellowfang and Jayfeather? It is Jayfeather. It's not our girl Yellowfang. It is a Star Clan member though, and it is such an obscure cat. <laughs> I don't think this cat speaks in the main series beyond this. Like, I think this is the only time this cat speaks, but I feel like they're pretty, like, notable. North, you got a kind of a feel for it. I do not, but I'm gonna guess anyways. Is it, um, 
Blue Star? It is not Blue Star for this one. No! <laughs> Sorry, not to laugh at your pain. <laughs> <laughs> now we're kind of on clear level playing fields here. So the hints I've given so far, Stark Land Cat, very obscure. I think this is the only time in the entirety of the main arcs they speak. Comments, I don't want to hear it if I'm wrong. Just take it off with my lawyer. And then also it's a medicine cat and it is not from Thunder Clan. Okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hang on to that. I, I, I can sense that you might know something, but Arden, you snuck in first. What's up? I don't know. Is it Brambleberry? It's Brambleberry. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot that she existed. <laughs> and it's like, why her? Like, what does she have anything to do with this? I didn't even know she had any lines in the main series. She's not half clan, is she? No. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so like, Brambleberry. Isn't she dead by Into the Wild? Totally. So it's like the first time in the main arc I think that she ever speaks. And I, I don't quote me on this, but I don't think she speaks after that, at least so far. So yeah, random Bramble Blair. Bram oh my god, random Brambleberry. <laughs> Such a weird one. We have made it to the end of our fourth episode of Mouse Brain. My assistant Craigenator is in the back frantically tallying up these insanely close scores to find out who will be crowned our fourth champion and will have their chance to compete again in the semifinals in the race for the title of Ultimate Mouse Brain. Before we discover who's the winner of this episode, I wanted to take a quick second to give a big thanks to both Arden and North for coming on and making episode four one for the record books. You guys are both so sweet and it was so much fun to put this together. And I wanted to thank you guys for watching and enjoying the show. If you know of a Warrior Cats content creator you'd like to see take on the Mouse Brain Challenge, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, let me know how you did compared to our contestants. The results are in, ladies and gentlemen, and all types of friends in between. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. I am so excited to announce the final scores and champion of the fourth episode of Mouse Brain. Congratulations, North! We'll be seeing you in the semifinals. 